I think this will work. Let me see. Uh, all right, that kind of works. What's up, everybody? Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Oh, that's a loose one. Okay. Everybody's here. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, comment, share. You know, all the good stuff that everybody does. Oh, oh, y'all ready. Look at y'all up in here, ready, child, ready. I love it. First things first, it is a cocktail. You already know how we get down, so please don't come in here making no noise, okay? Let me get some ice, hold on, y'all. It'd be like, what you doing? It was on crushed, so it took a little longer on crushed. So let me apologize for that. Okay, however, it is time. For a little pat and run, okay? All right, so the first thing I want to add to my cocktail shaker is I have this is passion fruit syrup today okay so a little passion fruit is all we need all right just a little bit of that into um, the ice and I'm just gonna add actually just a drop of uh, sweetened lime juice and I'm actually gonna bump up the lime flavor with a little swig of fresh squeezed lime juice. And it really don't even matter who squirrels it, but just put it in there, okay? Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of Grand Marnier, <laughs> or Grand Mariner, <laughs> okay? A shot or two of that, and the remainder shot is going to be Patron. Now this could be Patron, Casamigos, Don Julio. Do it matter? No. Okay? That's a that's a shot. All right? Um, we're just making a little drink. You got to give it a shake. Okay? It's, it's just a passion fruit margarita. That's really all it is, okay? It's just a little passion fruit margarita. I mean, it just really ain't a whole lot of nothing, you know? And I came back from Mexico. I was in Mexico. If you guys followed my stories for the last week, I was in Mexico chilling out. So, um, you know, still got a little taste for some, uh, for some tequila. So we're going to have a little tequila tonight in the form of a passion fruit um, margarita. That's it. Okay. And you know what? If you want to strain this, you can. I kind of like the ice in mine. Okay. So I'm actually going to put the ice right in mine. I like the ice in mine. Okay. I kind of like the ice. Shit. That's all it is. That's it. That's the whole thing right there. Okay, passion fruit margarita. And by the way, uh, this particular wine glass, all right, is on sale right now. This could be yours. This is the Royal Wine Glass. This could be yours at shopdariuscooks.com. All tonight, 
Use the code crab rice, all one word to save 40%. And we're in trouble. So here's the thing about this. The thing about this, is I don't taste no liquor, okay? The thing about this, hold on one second, y'all. Um, the thing about this is I don't taste no liquor, okay? We are about to be in trouble, okay? Now, those of you who have everyday keto, this is what we're about to cook out of, kind of. I got a little mashup happening. But this is what I figure. It's my live stream, so I can mash up however I want to mash. Yes? Okay. So in Everyday Keto, if you wanted to follow along, I am cooking from page 159. Okay. Hold the line, please. One second. As often as he do this, do this in remembrance of me. Y'all see this? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Huh? Y'all see this? Okay. Yeah, the glasses are beautiful. You can get it by going to shopgaryscooks.com. Use the code crab rice. Okay, this so is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a bowl. We need a cutting board. That means we're about to cut something. In order to cut, what do we need? A knife. This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Knife. A couple thousand of y'all done already ordered it. All right, I got a couple thousand more with your name on it. ShopDariusCooks.com. Use the code. Use the code Crab Rice at checkout uh, to save, okay? Um, Y'all hold the line one second. I think I messed something up on my phone because I like to hear the ding and I don't think I I think I, I think I screwed something up on my phone. Y'all know how to fix this? Uh, let me see. I done broke it. Yeah, I done really broke it. Oh, well. Okay, into a bowl. Let's get some parsley. Okay? I do want to put a little parsley in here. We're going to cook. Calm down. Everybody just calm down, okay? I'm giving you time to make your drink and get you on page 159. Now I don't need that much parsley. So I'm just gonna pull off me a little piece of fresh, fresh parsley. Okay? And then I'm gonna use my Darius Cook's knife. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. If you have this knife, could you let the people in the comments know that your knife got delivered? And that you're loving your everyday knife. It's making your life in the kitchen so much better. Because you can chop with ease with a knife that's this beautiful. ShopDariusCooks.com. Just use the code to save 40%. And I'm really going to cut the code off after the live stream. Because the code been on all weekend. Just FYI. So please do not email me. You know how y'all be. Y'all be with that email timeout. 
There he is. I tried to, no lie. Somebody emailed me yesterday to use a code Corona20. I said, sis, I have not used the code Corona20 in probably a year. So I'm like, unfortunately, that code ain't gonna work, sis. Like, it's not working, okay? I'm gonna put a couple of t uh, tablespoons, like two, one and a half, two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley right into um, this bowl, okay? Now I gotta go get the rest of my stuff. Please just bear with me, okay? I cook like y'all cook at home. Y'all don't be having everything all laid out beautiful and perfect at the house. So guess what I don't have? Everything laid out all nice and beautiful, okay? What is nice and beautiful? That. Okay? All right. I have some of this and some of this. Okay. So into this bowl, I need to add the following. Some mayonnaise. Okay? Regular mayo is fine, y'all. Okay? Vegan mayo is fine. Although I don't really know why you use vegan mayo with crab cakes. But whatever. Whatever you find. Okay? You can use. And that's okay. Alright? So I've got a hefty amount of mayo okay now to this mayo and parsley i've got some dijon mustard all right i think this is a perfect time to use and this is the stone ground dijon right um no yellow i mean i guess yellow mustard could work but it's so elementary you know what i mean like yellow mustard is so baloney sandwich upgrade your mustard game to Stone Ground Dijon. And this is store-bought brand. Because you know what? Y'all always ask me, which is better? Store-bought brand or name brand? Well, first of all, this is like $3 less than Grey Poupon. Okay? Not only is it less, you can't taste the difference. You never had something and you ate it and go, this is Publix mustard. This is Ralph's mustard. This is uh, Rouse's. You can't, this is H-E-B. You can't tell. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, uh, use the stove ball mustard. It'll save you money. People always, what kind of mustard do you use? The mustard that's on sale. All right? This gone already? What we need? I got it. Little squeeze of lemon juice. This lime juice, but it don't matter. Huh? Use what you got. You know what happened when Moses had went down there and he was down there by the, uh, where he was? By the Red Sea, huh? I gotta find me some old baby. Y'all hold the line one second. I'm gonna come preach in one minute. I got it. I want some of this and some of this. Uh, Moses was down there on the Red Sea. And he was, you know, with his army, the people. Moses was up in the front, I imagine, because I wasn't there. And, uh, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Moses was up at the Red Sea. And while Moses was down to the Red Sea, uh, I imagine it was a wall of impossibility on his left and a wall of impossibility on his right. And who was there behind him? Pharaoh and them trying to take him up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And he stopped and he prayed to the Lord and he said, Jesus, what you want me to do, Lord? And the, you know what the Lord told him? Use what I gave you. I just stopped by here this evening, parenthetically, to let you know that what you need 
for your next level, you already got it. So we're going to use what we have, okay? We cook it. We're not solving the cure to cancer. We're just doing a little cooking. You know what I mean? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This was Old Bay, lemon pepper, and then a little bit of black pepper, okay? Now, I'm going to mix this together real good. Now, if you're trying to keep it keto, low carb, stop right here, all right? Uh but I got a couple more ingredients that we're gonna add to it, okay? A couple more. Hold the line, please, and grab it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna throw me a little piece of Worcestershire sauce. This is low carb too, so if you're doing keto, you're good with this. A couple dashes, you don't need that much, okay? Um, it's made with anchovies, so if you're doing, I don't know, I was going to say if you're doing vegan, you can't use it, but whatever. Adjust it on your own, okay? Y'all figure it out. Okay? And then, I got some panko breadcrumbs. Panko is fine. I like panko because... These panko breadcrumbs really soak up and retain a lot of moisture, okay? So I'm always a fan of a panko, okay? Could you use regular breadcrumbs? Yes. But I always buy panko and keep them on hand, all right? All right, so you want to mix together your dressing. Parsley, lemon juice, Worcestershire. Okay, to the look something like that. Okay, not that appetizing yet. Now, I have some lump crab meat. You want to mix the dressing together first before you add. Now, on page 159, you would omit the Worcestershire and you would omit uh, the panko. Yes? Okay. This ain't lump crab. They lied to me. This ain't lump swimming crab. This ain't jumbo lump. They lied. That's all right. I thought it was that good lump crab meat. Okay. That was one container. Let me see if that's enough. Mm. That's plenty, actually. Oh, that worked out real good. Okay. I'm going to take the rest of this. Other one. Let me put this up because this costs like... A lot of money, so y'all hold the line for one second, okay? Shoot. Okay. What that cost? Money. What we not doing? Wasted it. Yes? Okay. I got an oven on. Preheated. Oven is about 375. And before I work out these crab cakes, I got three little one, two, three, four little strips of bacon left. You know, Patron really do cut across the yard on you. You know, Patron don't take a whole lot of time to get to you and start working. These wine glasses available at shopdariuscooks.com. So is The pearl, oh, so many of you guys have this now. The pearl and gold Dutch oven is available at shopdariuscooks.com. I think a fan favorite is the braising pan. It's also available, pearl and gold, shopdariuscooks.com. There's a cast iron skillet as well, and the most beautiful saucier you've ever seen in your entire life, also available at Shop Darius Cooks. Your gravies, your sauces, your caramels, your rice, things like that really well in a saucier, okay? Available at shopdariuscooks.com. And there's also a cast iron skillet as well with the logo dariuscooks.tv on etched in on the bottom, okay? Beautiful stuff. Uh, and I guess y'all know that now because 
Thank you to the thousands of you who have placed orders. Um, you've gotten your items. You guys are using your knives. You're using your skillet. You're using your brazes. Some people even told me they don't even want to use the brazen pan because they don't want to mess it up. You know what I mean? Um, it's so beautiful. So oh, there's only three strips. So thank you so much to everybody who's been rocking with me and purchasing and all that good stuff. I, I love y'all. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you quality product stuff that I like to use. As you see, I'm using my everyday skillet. It's not in stock yet. It's out of stock. Um, I have 15,000 skillets on the way. All right? I do not know when they're coming. Everything is backed up. So as soon as it gets here, I'll let you know. Okay? All right. Uh, and don't forget the code is crab rice. Make sure y'all put it in the comments because I know everybody asking. Okay, what he cooking? What he doing? What he drinking? What he making? All right, and I purposefully ain't telling you. All right, okay. So this is the three strips of bacon, and I put me a little brown sugar on top of the bacon. Y'all see that here? Let me show you. I just sprinkled a little brown sugar on top of the. Um, oh my God! There's so many people watching on TikTok. God damn! What's up, TikTok? Okay. All right. Hey, y'all. Jesus. Y'all was waiting on me, wasn't you? Okay. TikTok said I'm ranking. I don't even know what that means. I'm African American and I'm Christian. All right. I believe in Jesus now. I don't know what that other stuff means. TikTok. I don't know. Okay. I put the bacon in the oven for a little bit. Uh, now, back to this, these crab cakes. Uh, now, let me tell you something. I like a moist crab cake. So to get it moist, I like mine a little wetter than most people. If you don't like it that wet, then don't make it that wet, okay? But that's how I like it. Uh, I'm looking for some gloves. That's how I like it, uh, because once it cooks up, It'll stay, it'll stay good and moist. You know what I mean? And I think that's a really great crab cake. Okay, so I'm going to use this other skillet. I don't know what nothing is. I need a little piece of oil. Y'all hold the line. Let me find some herb. I got some. Oh, you know I got some herb right here. Where it's supposed to be. Okay. I just want a little piece of herb to put in the bottom of the pan. I got a little oil I'm going to put in the bottom of this pan, okay? And I'm just going to grab two gloves. And then I think I can form like three jumbo crab cakes out of this. I'm going to do this in, this in my everyday skillet because, you know, it's every day. Yes, yes. All right, now I'm going to smush my oil around because I don't want them to stick. You know, the pan is good, but this will this like my insurance policy to make sure it don't stick, okay? And then I think I can get three quality crab cakes out of this. Let's see what I can get, okay? So they, there's a certain way you make a crab cake uh, if you're in... Maryland and you know Maryland boasts to have the best crab cakes in the country and they are really good GNS S and G whatever it is over in Baltimore somewhere. It's in Maryland somewhere. They're good. Mama's on a half shell uh, Nick's Fish House 2600 insulated drive in Baltimore. They have good crab cake So Baltimore know what they do with the crab cakes. They got a good crab cake and this is how they like to do them So they flatten them on the bottom and then round them on top. Okay, and then you throw that right in there. That's a Maryland uh, technique, if you will. And I think I've done mostly everything according to how the folks in, in the DMV like a crab cake, all right? Lemon juice, Worcestershire, 
uh, Old Bay, black pepper, fresh parsley. Um, and if not, they'll be okay. Okay? And if not, they'd be fine. All right? So, and again, I only like mine a little wet because what I like to do is uh, once they roast off in the oven, I want them to still be like really moist on the inside. You know what I mean? So that one pound of crab got us three individual crab cakes. See that? What's up, Baltimore? Oh, I mean G and M. Yeah, I don't know the name of that shit. Okay. All right. So G and M. Okay, that's the name of it. They really do have a really great crab crab cake at G and M. Like legit. Legit, I was blown away, all right? And it's very difficult to blow me away because I'm fat, but they blew me away. All right, so I'm gonna put the crab cakes in the oven too. And we're gonna let the crab cakes cook along with the bacon, yes? So that recipe, because you, you guys always ask, Where's the recipe? Where's the recipe? That particular recipe is on page 159, all right, in stories from, I mean, uh, Everyday Keto, all right? Now, if you miss the cocktail, it's time for round dos. Oh, don't forget, everything I'm using, the glasses, the cookware, you can get at shopdariuscooks.com, the cookbooks, shopdariuscooks.com please use the code crab rice don't email me talk about it uh you forgot i'm gonna forget to reply to your email too okay let me get some ice y'all hold the line please I'll be all that. I forget. Okay. So did I. Ice. Oh, I think I heard my text message go off. Let me see. Who's texting? Ice goes in. All right. And then. Let's add everything else to make a really great drink, okay? Starting with passion fruit syrup. Okay, a little bit of that. Then to the passion fruit syrup, I've got a little bit of sweetened lime juice. And I'm gonna bump it up with actual lime, okay? T-shirts too, by the way. Aprons, T-shirts. All those are available at shopdariuscooks.com. So you can be cute while you cook, or you can be fly while you fry. Huh? Shopdariuscooks.com. All right. For the liqueur, I've got a little bit of Grand Mariner. <laughs> okay. Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur, um, which just gives it a, like a well-rounded, um, almost caramely citrusy situation, which I think is really, really good. Uh, and then I've got a little bit of Patron. Not a little bit, two shots of Patron. This is my four shot of Patron. Okay, this, this was four when we started. All right, I'm done after this. All right, y'all not gonna fool with me and get me towed up like I was last time, boy. It's not happening. Okay, that is the... Uh, one of the wine glasses. This is the other beautiful wine glass that I offer at shopdariuscooks.com. Look at how beautiful that is. All right. This could be yours. This could be in your collection right now. Shopdariuscooks.com.
All right. We need to make a vinaigrette. Yes. All right. I don't know how we're going to do it. But I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be uh, in the love eternally. As far as I can see. Okay. It's best to do this in a blender. Simply because it's easier. Like Sunday morning. Morning. No, it's easier to do it in a blender. Okay. Okay, in the blender, let's add a couple of ingredients that we need. Yes? Okay. Okay. The first thing we're going to add is a little piece of garlic. Okay? I don't, I don't like peeling garlic, so I bought a garlic already peeled. All we need about two cloves and one more for good measure. So that's one for the father, Woo. one for the son, one for the Holy Ghost. Okay, all right, so that's a little bit of a what's that we put in here? Garlic. Okay, to help the dressing emulsify. That's a big word. Oil and water typically don't mix. So you need something, an agent, to help it stick together. So a little bit more of this Dijon mustard. We're going to put that right down to that. All right? All right, everybody okay so far? Two ingredients. Garlic and mustard. All right? Now we're gonna add some black pepper. Okay. And then we're gonna add a little pinch of kosher salt to this, make it taste real good. Okay. A pinch more. Okay. To make it taste real good, we need a little bit of sugar. And before you start talking, shut up. The reason we got to add that much sugar is because we're going to add some balsamic vinegar that is tart, okay? First and foremost, it's called a balance, okay? And what you want to make sure of is that the vinaigrette is balanced. The last thing you want is in a vinaigrette that's not balanced. Then you're going to be shamed. Talking about some why it don't taste that good. Because you didn't put enough sugar. You got all that acid and not enough sugar. A little balsamic. Okay, that's why you need the sugar. The balsamic is sour. It's acidic. You know what else is acidic? The Hennessy we're going to add. Okay, what we got? Hennessy balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, you just need a shot. That's it. You can use white Hennessy, regular Hennessy, Hennessy VS, or you can use black. It don't matter. Or hell. If you want to switch it up all the way, you can do that too. I got to plug this up. I don't got no plug. Let me see. Y'all hold the line one second. Let me see what I got. All right. I got one. It's right here. Hey. Hey, y'all. Up close in person. How you doing? TikTok. What's that? Who this over here? This is it's, uh, Facebook. Hey. 
hey, Facebook. Okay. Who this over here? My personal Facebook. How you doing? Instagram. What's that? YouTube. Y'all, my YouTube channel is growing like crazy. Okay. I have 300 and some odd thousand followers on, on, on YouTube. Quit playing with me. All right. Don't worry, it's not ready, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some oil in. Everybody wanna text me when I'm live. <laughs> you know how you get a text be like, who is that? Okay, this is the oil. Okay, put this on oh, put this on low. Hold on. On low. And then we're gonna stream a little bit of oil in. That's a little too low, huh? taste it first make sure it's got enough stuff in it because you know sometimes you think it'd be right it don't be right okay sometimes you be thinking like okay it's right and then you taste it and you be like well mm. Mm. maybe that's right okay mm. Mm. that's right Woo! Mm. Okay, all right, we did that. Very good. Okay, take our dressing, see, and pour our dressing out. What we got? Hennessy balsamic vinaigrette. Look at that. And you know what's in it, no additives, no preservatives. Okay, all right. I've been putting that drink down. Cause it's about to be some slow singing and flower break. I'm about to drink this. What am I doing? Dairies. Okay, all right. Let's check the bacon so the bacon don't burn. Let's make sure. All right, the bacon is out. We'll let it cool. Now, the next dish, the main dish I'm about to make is on page. So this is stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Yes, okay. Okay, stories from my grandmother's kitchen. 
Uh, I'm going to be on page. I got to find it. Hold the line. You just hold on one second. I'm going to tell you what page in one minute. Everybody just calm down. Okay, gather yourselves. Calm down. It's in here somewhere. I know because I wrote it. I just don't know where it's at. Okay, we are on page number. I'm about to be shamed because I don't know where it's at. Y'all hold the line. Everybody just calm down, okay? I'm cooking off of page number. I'm looking for a miracle. Expect the impossible. I really don't know where it's at. Oh, I got it right here. It's on page number 48. Okay? The picture is on the next page, on the previous page. Okay, this is the scampy chicken. We're going to make this. Okay? So everybody just calm down. So the first thing we need to do is... It does not call for onion or garlic. No, it calls for garlic, but it doesn't call for onion. So I'm going to put some onion. I'm going to get some onion started because that's just what I like. So the great thing about these recipes, right, are that basically all I do is give you a guide, right? I give you a guide. I give you a place to start. And then you could be like, okay, this is what I like. So I'm getting ready to show you kind of a cool way to make this scampi chicken, okay? I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna be like, oh, there he is, okay. I'm here for it, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of onion and I'm gonna like dice up some onion, okay? The Darius Cook's knife. I'm trying to tell you. If you do not have this knife in your arsenal, you are not cooking. Shop DariusCooks.com. Use the code crab rice at checkout to save. Okay. All right. Another skillet. That's hot. Hold the line. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to take some of the oil and put it in this skillet, okay? And then, to get the party started, I'm gonna take my diced onion, and I'm gonna throw my diced onion right in here to get that going, okay? Now that's gonna cook real fast, real good. In the meantime, I'm gonna take some of this garlic, do you like garlic? I love garlic. I feel like garlic is like amazing and tastes good and adds a really great flavor to whatever you cook. I'm just gonna slice the garlic into like thin slices. Very much like this. Okay? So nice little thin slices. I was only able to do that because I'm using my Darius Cook's everyday knife, okay? Now, 
I do have some chicken breasts that I'm gonna need to work out. Cause that's gonna be like the main protein in the dish, okay? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you real fast. Hold on, y'all. So this is the just a little saute on the onion. That's It's a, we show sure glad we put too many, uh, put a lot of onions in, ain't we? Okay. All right. Normally, I don't have no problem doing that. But guess who might have had a little too much beverage? You guessed it. Okay. Don't, do not attempt that after a couple of cocktails. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, what I was trying to tell you is, I do have chicken breast, okay? Already cut up, ready, well, not cut up, but chicken breast. Now, I'm not a chicken washer, all right? I know all the West Indians are going crazy right now. Oh my God! What do you mean? You know I wash the chicken? What you mean he don't wash it? We know it at his house. Okay, fine. Stay where you at. Okay. I'm not a chicken washer. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, to stretch this chicken out, I'm taking one breast. This is about a 36 triple D. And I'm cutting it in cubes. Yes. And I'm going to put the cubes of chicken breast right into the onion and the oil, okay? So we can start to, uh, it can start to cook. Yes? All right. That's what we're doing, all right? All right. Now... The, the book say, the Bible, <laughs> the book say uh, season with salt and pepper. We can do that. Okay, we got chicken cooking. Okay, a little pepper. Okay. It's right here. And a little pinch of salt. Okay, so we just have chicken. All we have is chicken, onion, salt, and pepper. Okay, now, meantime, I'm going to take my Darius Cook's Dutch oven, yes, and fill it up with a little water. So we can get some pasta going. I told you I'm gonna show you a new way for old time classic. So I'm gonna get a little water going. Okay. The the book say add the garlic to the pan and let cook for about 30 seconds before adding the white wine. We can do that. Water. And you want to do this just until the chicken has cooked through. See that? It's still like a little bit like raw, but it's cooking through. I can add the garlic in now. Okay. So let the garlic cook for like 30 seconds. Okay. So that's chicken. The reason you don't add the garlic in first, because you put the garlic in first, is it be burnt by now, okay? And burnt garlic, what it tastes like? The devil. So 
Somebody say crab cake? Huh? Somebody say crab cake? Yes? Did somebody say crab cakes? Huh? What you said? Y'all said crab cake? I thought y'all said something. Now, that's 30 seconds is up. Next thing we gotta do is add some white wine to the pan, okay? I got a little white wine right here. So I'm gonna add some white wine to the pan. Now, one of the things I like to add to the white wine that's not in the book, do this if you want to. I got a little chicken bouillon, okay? I'm gonna put me a little bouillon in here to help with the flavor, all right? Uh, let me grab some seasonings out the cabinet. Is this even in the book? Let me see. Okay, this is not in the book because you don't really need it, but I'm gonna add it because that's what I wanna do. Because that's what I'm doing. Cooking my dinner the way I wanna eat my dinner. Yes, all right. Hold the line, please, y'all. Let me get some stuff. All right. I got it. Okay. Herbs de Provence. A pinch of that. Garlic powder, a pinch of that. And then onion powder. A pinch of that. Yes? All right. Now, I do want to give this a, a good mix. Right? So this is the chicken with the white wine so far. So it's just chicken, garlic, white wine, and red onion. Okay? It already looked delicious. And it smells outstanding. But we're going to bump it up a little more. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, that lemon juice. All right? Put your little lemon juice in there. Okay? A little lemon juice going there. And we're going to let that cook down for a little bit. All right? We want it to reduce before we add in the next ingredient. Oh, you know what I should put in? I'm gonna do a little pinch of red pepper flip. Just a little pinch of red to make it a little spicy. Not even spicy, a little, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> I'm sorry, the pepper. A little, a little kick, you know? Just so it says, how you doing? That's it. All right? All right. You let that reduce. I'm going to fix the salad, and it's going to be time to eat. But the one thing you need to know about cooking this angel hair pasta, all right, is I have two golden rules when it comes to cooking pasta. I don't care... What you do, I don't care what pasta it is. Two golden rules. And y'all, y'all heard me say this a million times. Over salt the water. and undercook the pasta. Yes? Okay. Now the pasta we're going to use, because I'm a Christian, okay? Because I'm a Christian, 
Amen. I don't always act like it, but I am. The pasta I'm going to use is an angel hair pasta. Okay? Angel hair. You can use whatever you want. Honestly, it don't really matter. Okay? Now, this chicken, let me show y'all this chicken. Chicken is cooking. Chicken is cooked, okay? And in the bottom of this pan, look at this little sauce I got going on. White wine, chicken juices, lemon juice, the whole bit, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some heavy cream. Now this ain't in the book. This is my addition to this dish, okay? I'm gonna add in some heavy cream, yes? Because I'm going to do a creamy chicken scampi. Heavy whipping cream, okay? Gets you a creamy chicken scampi. Now, this pasta water is boiling. So, let's put the pasta into the pasta water, okay? And let's get that going. Now, this angel hair don't take no time at all, Okay? It cook up real fast, so we're gonna we're gonna work it real fast. It don't take that much time. Don't don't go watch all my children. You're gonna be shamed. Come back, your pasta gonna be done. Okay? Don't do that. All right. I'm just letting it get up in here good. Okay. Meanwhile, let's do this. Okay, I got some organic lettuce and spring mix. Okay, we're gonna put that on the plate. That's plenty, maybe a little more. Okay, that's enough. All right, to that, I've got an olive medley. I don't know about you, I love an olive. I don't care, green, black, red, yellow, Red, black, or white, they are all precious in his sight. I love an olive, okay, personally. So olives go onto my salad, all of them. If you don't like them, don't eat them, right? Simple. But do me a favor. Olive me, please. I'm just mixing together my uh, pasta. I don't want it to stick together too much. All right, I got me a little cucumber. The dairy is cooked. Oh, okay. The dairy is cooked every day night. Okay, a little bit of cucumber. Watch how well it chops. Watch this. Beautiful. All chops, ready to go onto my salad. Okay. Remember that bacon that we cooked? The brown sugar bacon. Remember that brown sugar bacon that we cooked? All right. We can crumble that brown sugar bacon all over this salad. Yes? I Listen, I couldn't be Muslim. I need a day pass. Allah have to understand. Okay. Oh, this is ready to come out. Okay, look, my pasta ready. I'm going to throw my pasta. Y'all can't see it, but hold the line. I'm going to throw my pasta right into this boiling uh, sauce. Y'all hold on one second. And this is why you undercook your pasta because 
You're going to finish it in this sauce, this creamy, scampy sauce. You're going to finish it in there. See? So if you overcook it to begin with, and then you put it in here, it's just going to be too much. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be very careful. And this just need a little green. Where that parsley go? Right here. All right. I'm gonna throw some fresh parsley in here. Put this back on the stove. And I got some baby spinach. I'm gonna wilt me a little baby spinach. Matter of fact, let me get the pot. I need the pot back. I'm gonna wilt me a little baby spinach up in here. Okay. So I got spinach, chicken, red onion, white wine, lemon juice, okay? All good things are happening. Right up in here, okay? Put you as much spinach as you want to. Some of y'all not eating enough vegetables. And you need more spinach in your diet. There you go. Okay, all right. What's left on our salad? We put the cucumber, the olives. I got a little cheese. Hold on, y'all. I got some Parmesan. Whatever you like. Whatever you want. I can't see this to open it. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Alright, we're gonna take our microplane. Okay, and we're gonna do a little grate of Parmesan cheese all over our salad like this. Then we're going to take our Hennessy balsamic vinaigrette and do a little drizzle all over. Just like that. Okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I don't like, I don't have no tomatoes. If you want tomatoes, put tomatoes in there. All right, do you see tomatoes? On Facebook, y'all, on my Facebook fan page, they saying, did you add tomatoes? I want to say, did you see me add tomatoes? Okay, here you go, look at that. Now, if you want tomatoes, you add tomatoes. See what I'm saying? That's what you do, okay? All right, now, hold on, let me take my pasta dish. See? Because all this is begging for is a little cheese too, see? Yes. A little cheese in here as well. So we're going to go on grate some cheese over into our pasta. That's what I want to say. I want to say, did you see me add tomato? But then they said you're being smart. That's what they say. Don't ask me why they say that. I don't know. Okay. All right. We have our pasta with our spinach. This is our creamy chicken scampi pasta. Okay. It's creamy chicken scampi. And the chicken scampi is on page 48 of stories from my grandmother's kitchen. All I did was add a heavy cream to make it into a sauce. That's pretty much it. Okay. Put some pasta on there. And that's, now we got a dish. See that? See that? We got a whole situation right there. Okay. Let us not forget. Let me see what's going on. Hold on, y'all. Let us not forget that we also have 
our beautiful crab cake. Okay, we can add a crab cake or two right to our plate. And then I'll take a little bit of our salad that we hooked up. Okay, and the salad goes right on the side like that. Now let me show you what this looks like. So you guys can see what's all going on on this plate, okay? We have our salad with the Hennessy balsamic vinaigrette, the crab cakes, and we have our creamy chicken scampi, which is on page 48 of stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Yeah, I used what I had. That's what I did. I used what I had, okay? All right, and then we made a little bit of passion fruit margarita. I ain't got much left of that. Don't forget, y'all, everything you see me using is on sale at shopdariuscooks.com. Almost everything. Use the code crab rice. At checkout. You hungry? Let's make a snack. T-shirts and hoodies on sale, too. Bow your head so we can say grace. Grace. All right, here we go. This crab cake. Let me let y'all see this first before I bite into this. You're not going to believe this. Hold on, let me let y'all see this crab cake before I bite. Oh, 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 I done dropped it, y'all. Hold on. Don't worry about it. I got some more. Look at this crab cake. You see that? Look at that. Huh? Look at that crab cake. Look at that crab cake. Okay. All right. Come on. Let's eat this. Mm. It's the old bay. And the Dijon for me. Okay. Mm. Okay, I can't eat too much. I'm gonna get full off this. Crab cake. Mm. That's good. Okay. On the pasta. Angel hair. And such a cute way to use up chicken breast. Chicken breast, chicken thighs. I feel like everybody's always asking about more chicken recipes. Here's one you can put in your arsenal. I call them back pocket recipes because put them in your back pocket and use it anytime, okay? Normally you hear shrimp scampi, chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Normally you hear shrimp scampi. Now you got chicken scampi with the pasta. And the pasta is not overcooked. Shows up all that flavor. Listen, y'all. This way is it. Okay. Don't forget, the code to use is crab rice. Okay. Shop dairyscooks.com. This dressing on this salad. Shit. I mean, shoot. Okay. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Mm. So good.